Hey, how's everybody doing? This is Phil the Kaiju King from my collection room here in Greater Cincinnati. And in this video, I'm taking a look at a X Plus Gigantic Series, the X Plus Gigantic Series Godzilla 2000, um, Yuji Sakai modeling collection. And it is the standard edition. Pretty nice figure, I must say. Pretty stylized, but it's really nice. And let's bring him forth uh, right now. All right, everybody, here he is the X Plus Gigantic Series Yuji Sakai Godzilla 2000, 1999 2000, from the movie Godzilla 2000. Um, of course, this was the return of Godzilla to Toho after what was Godzilla 1998. I will not call that Godzilla, just, just my preference. I, I don't look at that as Godzilla. I look at that as a creature, a monster. It's okay for a monster movie, but wasn't exactly my cup of tea as far as Godzilla goes, just my opinion. But uh, this was the return of the Godzilla name and liking and franchise to its roots and its ownership to Toho and they uh, really had a successful return with this thing it, it's uh, the design of this Godzilla everything about it uh, was very dynamic and very menacing in my opinion um, the movie is okay just in my opinion okay it's not high on my um, rankings of the millennium era I like the uh, first uh, Godzilla X Mecha Godzilla or Godzilla versus Kiryu in 2002. That's probably my top there. And GMK, of course, is probably my favorite of the millennium. But uh, the the uh, Kiryu and uh, Godzilla first battle 2002 is really high on my list, in my opinion. I just I like that movie. I like I like the unique story of it and where they took Godzilla's original Godzilla's bones and created Kiryu and. Um, it goes haywire, and um, then the battles between Godzilla and Kiryu in the movie. I just like that movie. Um, this movie was just okay, in my opinion. The enemy in the movie, Orga, is okay. But the look of Godzilla, the dynamics of him and everything in the movie, they really brought him back to prominence with this, in my opinion. Very nicely done and by Toho. Um, Orga really wasn't much of a fight for Godzilla in, my, in, in the movie. He... Uh, he laid a Godzilla put put him down soundly, and uh, the next movie uh, I actually liked a little more than this. I liked the enemy and everything, Mega Gears. Um, I do like that movie better than this uh, Return of Godzilla in uh, ninety nine two thousand. So, um, but the design, this design of this Godzilla is it's definitely. <laughs> One of my favorites in the millennium. It probably is my favorite. I, he's very uniquely designed. Um, in the first two movies, they used this suit, and then they changed some uh, suits for the next three of the four movies. So, But this is probably my favorite design of the millennium, I would say. I just love how vicious he looks, how mean he looks. He almost looks like a dinosaur um, in some respects, just his stance and everything. And... Um, I really do like this design. I think X Plus took liberties with this figure, of course, but liberties are good things a lot of the times when, when, I, when X Plus is involved, and this one is no exception. It's really a nicely done, nicely crafted figure. Um, as far as the figure goes, he, he eats up shelf space quite a bit because, as you can see, his tail goes pretty much straight back with a slight curl to the left at the very end. So... His length has to be 20 inches at least. It, it's amazing from the front of his jaw to the end of his tail. It has to be at least 20 inches, not 24. He, he takes up shelf space. So just remember that if you ever did get one, that um, he uh, takes up the shelf space. Um, this is the standard. I believe the Rick had the orange outer part of his spiky dorsal plates signifying his impending release of his atomic breath in the movie um and uh that one is uh rare and hard to come by and pretty expensive if you do find it so <laughs> i've thought about maybe one day down the line trying to get one but uh for now i'm happy with this 
guy here um this is his prominent look in the movie as far as the coloring of his plates but that one is cool because it signifies his atomic breath and whoever has that man it's it, it's really awesome looking um but the tail does like i said go straight back of course the dorsal plates start almost all the way at the end of his tail they are little and they just get more bigger and more pointier and more sh sharper as you go and by the way these things are sharp man they they are pointy and sharp I'm guessing if you accidentally hit your hand on it or something or poke yourself, it's going to hurt because they are very pointy. And it's to me, it's just like in the movie. Um, they really, that um, that's one of the really realistic, shoot accurate attributes of this figure are the uh, dorsal plates. They're really pointy, really jagged, which is just like he was in the film. They, he, it makes him look more menacing, in my opinion, this Godzilla plus the look and demeanor of his face and, and the whole combination of it it just the most menacing scariest looking godzilla of the millennium era um i would hazard a guess between this and the o2 the o2 is pretty menacing too but i just think this one was a triumphant return for toho with godzilla but like the dorsal plates are purple on the outer part and then the inner part is the dark black almost uh, dark grayish black the tree bark skin on the god this figure is nicely done it's a green in color which is uh, just like in the, the suit in the film it's pretty nicely done uh, nice sculpting on the uh, skin um i do feel that the uh liberties were taken with some of this like the uh tail is like sectioned it's uh, like sectioned and but the tree bark skin is sculpted pretty good on it but um the other 2000 figures aren't quite as defined with these tail sections put together it's just uh that's where some of the liberties i think took effect also the tree the tree bark skin all over his body on his legs on his uh midsection upper chest arms everything he uh he, he the the, it, the sculpting is really pretty good but uh i don't think it's exactly accurate to the suit um like the other x plus godzilla 2000s are i think that's where they took some liberties and that's cool man it still looks really cool though um but the uh tree bark skin everywhere is it, it's more tree bark skin kind of it's kind of between the tree bark skin and the uh, spiky spikes that are close to that are on the other figures it's close to his dorsal plates there's like spike skin and this really don't have that like the other x plus figures do every one of them has it it's more tree barky than the spikes and that's one of the liberties i think they took with the uh stylization of this figure his feet are four toed one off to the inner part of the foot and then three in the front and the nails are yellow We're, pretty much a yellowish color with a black brown dark blackish at the base of the nail then goes out to the yellow on both feet the claws on the hands are four claws and the same thing they are yellow in color with a base blackish color at the base of the nail and then it comes out to the yellow color like i said um very nicely done figure um stylization on the sculpting of the skin i think is is prevalent on this because if you look at the other x plus godzillas they just their sculpting is uh, a little bit different on this and the uh the skin on the the uh figure but it's still really cool it's, it, it makes to me it makes him even more menacing looking the uh way they sculpted his uh skin but they do have some of the spiky uh, skin on his arms here a little bit but on the other ones it's really prevalent like on either side of his dorsal plates on the side you can really see those spiky spikes sticking up as far as up here toward his head his neck is the beginning of the uh cobra neck <laughs> very prominent looks like a fanned out cobra almost very cool um the head is nicely done um the traditional godzilla 2000 uh look and design i think their head's really close to what it should be the um nice sculpting of the skin on the face and the eyebrows and everything um the eyes are yellow in color to me and they are bloodshot you can see some bloodshot in them and the uh, pupil is black teeth 
the teeth are nicely sculpted and individually sculpted. They are yellow in color, kind of like the uh, nails and the toenails. Um, pretty cool. But it's a really nice figure. Like I said, I, in my opinion, it is stylized quite a bit. It's probably the most stylized of the Gigantics. I'm, this one, the uh, Shin and GMK all have styliz stylization in my opinion. I think this one is far and away the most stylized of those three Gigantics in the line. But they are all very awesome and I like this figure. I'm glad I got it. And of course this is the smallest in the line of the gigantic smallest figure and you will see that. Also it comes with this here tail stand. It's the biggest tail stand of any figure. It stands about two inches tall there at least. It's a really big tail stand but uh it comes with that of course. But uh it's a nice figure. Very very nicely done. We'll move on to some uh, size comparisons and let's do that right now. All right, everybody, I'm back and here is the 25 centimeter recently released Orga. And uh, like you can see there, quite a bit of difference in size. I mean, I can only imagine an Orga to match with this Godzilla, it would be freaking huge. <laughs> it would be really big, but um, I just wanted to try to show size of this gigantic because this is the smallest in the line. As far as bulk, as far as uh, height, everything, it's the smallest. But it's still pretty amazing and awesome. Alright, I'll move on to some more size comparisons. Let's do that right now. Alright everybody, here is my 25 centimeter Godzilla 2000 and my original release 30 centimeter Godzilla 2000. Very nice figures. Um, here's where I, you can see some of the differences. So I think these two are accurate to the suit, pretty accurate to the suit. And this one has the stylization, of course. All these tail ridges as the tail goes up, that isn't very prominent on either of these figures. The ridges are there, but they're not quite as pronounced as these ridges are on the gigantic. It's just uh, not nearly as uh, pronounced on the figure it's, uh, quite a bit of difference in my opinion on the uh, tail ridges and then also on the skin sculpting of the uh, compared to these two this one has some differences on it but uh, it still looks pretty menacing and pretty uh, cool All right, we'll do a couple more size comparisons and let's uh, move forward with that. All right, everybody, I'm back and this is my gigantic Godzilla 1968 custom sculpt with my X Plus gigantic Godzilla 2000. This custom stands quite a bit taller and is much more bulkier than uh, this one. Like I said, this is the smallest in the X-Bus line of Gigantics um, by far. All right, let's do one final size comparison. Let's bring forth the biggest, tallest Gigantic in the X-Plus series. Let's do that right now. Okay, everybody, I'm back. And I'm holding on to this Gigantic Godzilla 1989's tail um, just to uh, keep him from falling but uh, as you can see this is the tallest of all the X plus Gigantics and he really towers over top of the uh, Gigantic 2000 see the differences here in both girth and height but they're still both uh, very awesome figures this here came out earlier in the year 989 it is a severe contender for figure of the year which is uh easy to see if you see it in hand and, and uh, up close all right i'll move on to some final thoughts on this godzilla 2000 let's do that right now all right everybody i'm back with my x plus gigantic godzilla 2000 very uh nice figure <laughs> Very awesome stylized figure, but uh, 
nothing wrong with some stylization on these things sometimes um, a lot of the D4 rear line have stylizations but they also hold suit accuracy so and uh, this is really a cool cool release that they did and I don't know if it's readily available anymore I know all the Gigantics were reissued a lot of the older ones but I'm not really sure if it's still readily available or not um, I'm sure it's on eBay but that might be pricey I'm not I'm not really sure it is a cool cool stylized Godzilla 2000 and I would suggest if you like that movie and like this figure um, like this style this version of Godzilla that you would not do yourself wrong by adding this guy to your collection it's a really nicely done piece from X plus very glad to have him on in my sh uh, lineup of X plus gigantic I have every one of them they've released either a standard or a um, Rick um, version of every one of them so far so upcoming is the Godzilla 2019 I guess in a couple weeks or so so that'll be pretty cool to see that thing in hand all right I will bring the uh, camera forth here momentarily for a close-up if you like the video like and uh, if you want to comment comment below I want to thank everyone for their time and attention as always. This is Phil the Kaiju King from my collection room in Greater Cincinnati. Y'all have a wonderful day.